Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome. It's Puri Mo with Mr. Simeon and the Butcher here from Chat Campania. I had the honor today to just come in and visit the locals. I mean, this guy is amazing. So let's take a quick tour and see what they have. Let's see. So, man, oof. Here we got the briskets. Okay. Fried briskets. Uh -huh. Marble. Yep. Here we got meats like uh, hanger steak. Okay. And etranya. Etranya, what is that for me? This one, in English, it's skirt steak. Okay. Etranya. All right. Here we got some stewing meat, the shanks, oh. Oh. veal shanks. Mm -hmm. Got in this morning, fresh. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. The ribs for grilling. Oh, you just have like the, yeah, regular ribs. Yeah. yeah. But not from pork, from the uh, beef. From the beef. I might go home with one of those. <laughs> wow. This is the kind of meat you cook. More ribs. With yellow fat, yes. dress fed beef. What gives it the yellow color? Because the beef, it grows slowly. Okay. It eats grass mm -hmm. and gets so much more flavor compared to more industrially produced, like feedlot produced. All right. Doesn't get any flavor. Could we call it echo beef? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And Wonderful. marble, like this, most important, marble meat. Wow, this color is amazing. Oh, the marble is really nice. Beautiful. Then we got the fresh lambs, Ooh. like this. Okay. Came in this morning from uh, Lin Shopping. Okay. 22 kilos. All right. What's the average price for a lamb if someone wants to have it? Per kilo, the whole lamb. I mean the whole lamb. 149 per kilo. A whole, it would be like 3,000. Okay, something like that. But this, that's the normal size. You can get smaller, like two Okay, kilos. all right. Wonderful. Wow, guys, you know, okay, I want to be a butcher now. <laughs> ah. I need some, definitely, man. I would love that. I would really love that. Yeah. Now let's see the best side. Okay, this is definitely the best side, guys. Woo! That's a lot of work right here. Here's all the dryest meat. Okay. This is the special, if you can see inside, this one we covered in beef fat. Okay. And it makes us able to dry each it double the time. So we can dry each it three, four months. Wow. And the fat protects the meat. Amazing. Then in here, we got the dry aged green rice, the tomahawks with the big bone. And these ones we dry each four, five, six weeks. Okay. I mean, this project, we try to dry age uh, Japanese Wagyu. Oh, okay. And how long has it been here? Just a few days. We just started. It's okay. the first time we're trying it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be finished in uh, three, four weeks, I think. Okay. What's the process of dry aging? I mean, what, what, what does it really mean for people who don't know what it is? Dry aging in the meat, naturally, there are enzymes. Okay. And the enzymes, they start to work on the meat as soon as you leave it. Okay. And they break down the, the fibers of the meat so it gets more tender. Okay. Then, we have usually some uh, white mold like this yeah. that uh, makes the flavor of the meat better, similar to cheese or salami. All right. And then the meat dries up, and with less moisture, mm -hmm. more uh, more flavor. Okay. Wow. How long has this been, like you know, drying for? Four or five weeks. Okay. These ones are almost finished. This one, for example, is new. All right. This one has a lot of time to go. So dried meat gives it a better taste. Better taste, more tender meat. Everything better. Awesome. But you gotta have the right conditions. You gotta have air circulation like this. Okay. And here on the side, we put salt stones from Himalaya. Okay, is that Himalayan salt? Yes. Wow. We bought like hundred of them. Okay, guys. To take out the moisture from there. Wow. All right. I see the work, man. Pretty impressive. Okay. Like this. Thank you. So now we are inside the shop. So let's just do a quick, quick tour around. Oh, look at those. Oh, but, um, 
Hot sauces? Hot sauces, yes. This one is amazing. This is dulce de leche okay. made from goat's milk. What? Oh, this is coming from Mexico. Said, Mexico. Yeah. Okay. It's all hot stuff. Uh, chilies, yeah. beans, the mm -hmm. maseca mm -hmm. is what we use for making tortillas. In okay. This machine. All right. And here are the already made ones. Okay. Oh, and these are like the, 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 the real deal. The real tortillas, only okay. from corn. Okay. Wow. Now with Those Colombia. Things. Uh -huh. Chocolate to drink. This is fried uh, plantain. Okay. From Peru and Bolivia. Okay. There's different types of corn. All right. Peruvian corn, for example, it's not sweet like European corn. Okay. And, what and then Brazil. Brazil here. Juice from cashew fruit, from uh, passion fruit. No. Okay. Can I rice? This, these are different kinds of flowers made mm -hmm. from cassava. Okay. Cassava flowers, you oh. can make cheese breads, mm -hmm. other kinds of breads. Mm -hmm. Sweets from Argentina. Okay. Really interesting. So you don't only have meat, you have more you than have that. Lots of stuff. That's amazing. Lamb leg is slices. Yeah. For grill. For grill. Yeah. These are the grill slices, mm -hmm. and what's left is the shank yep. for stew or soup. Shank for stew, absolutely. Wow. Shark company at Simeon the Butcher. Amen. Kulu salam. Kulu mahanda. Amari nyan ati chilalish? Finish na galam. Finish na galam. Ah. And the sesina. Oh, sesina. Okay. Can you just talk about this one real quick? This is Wagyu meat. Okay. The, from the Wagyu breed, the uh -huh. Japanese breed. Yeah. But they're bred in Spain. Okay. Then they take out one muscle. Uh -huh. They salt it. Uh -huh. They dry it uh -huh. in a cellar uh -huh. for two years. Wow. They dry it for two years. Yeah. It's like the best cured ham, but flavor times a hundred. Yeah, I tried that yesterday. And because of the marbling. Wow. It's really good. These guys are amazing. They didn't have time, but they still allowed me to come here, you know, and they worked time and showed me around. You know. Next time we'll have more time and to get something together. Definitely, appreciate it. I look forward to the summer, because this guy here promised that we're going to have a lot of fun grilling. Definitely. All right, thanks guys, really appreciate it. Thank you, Mo. All right, Thank you thanks, for coming. Thank you. Peace out. Ciao. Ciao.